Hi friends, I am Dr. B.V. Rao of Ushra Clinic and founder of the website skewmedicaldoves.blogspot.in and ragavamedicaldoves.com. Through these videos, I am providing the basic knowledge about the commonly occurring diseases, treatment and surgery details when necessary. For the medical knowledge to general people and for reference to medicals. Today I am going to discuss about the cholera diagnosis and treatment. Cholera is a diagnosis. Uh, is a contagious disease caused by the bacteria Vibrio cholerae, which, with uh, symptoms of watery diarrhea and uh, vomiting, causing uh, drastic uh, dehydration. It is uh, transmitted by the water and food contaminated with the uh, feces of, pa of the patient and carried. It also called uh, blue death, as the patient's skin may become bluish grey due to the dehydration. Signs and symptoms. The onset is sudden, starts with uh, profuse diarrhea and vomiting. The diarrhea is uh, rice water in nature and uh, of uh, fishy water. If untreated may produce uh, 10 to 20 liters or uh, 3 to 5 U US gallons of a diarrhea a day. If untreated may lead to life threatening dehydration and uh, electrolyte imbalance. Fever is rare and if present may suggest a secondary infection. Lethargic and uh, might have shrunken eyes and mouth. Cold clammy skin decreased uh, turgor wrinkled hands and feet. Kusmo breathing, a deep labored breathing due to acidosis from loss of bicarbonates and uh, lactic acidosis, low blood pressure and uh, thready pulse due to loss of water, decreased urine output due to loss of circulating volume, muscle cramps, weakness, altered uh, consciousness and seizures. Diagnosis. A rapid dipstick test is available to determine the presence of uh, Vibrio cholerae. You found positive testing for the antibiotic resistance is to be done for uh, isolation of Vibrio cholerae 1 or VC139. If both are not isolated, sent to the reference laboratory. Management. Continued eating speeds up uh, recovery of uh, intestines. WHO and CDC training manual recommends the same. Fluids. The fluid loss is to be estimated correctly and uh, try to be recovered. In most cases, oral rehydration with uh, rice-based solutions may be sufficient. In severe dehydration, intravenous fluids may be necessary. Rigus, Ringus lactate is preferred in large volume and a continued infusion till the, the diarrhea is uh, subsided. 10% of the patient's body weight is uh, infused and in first 2 to 4 hours. Antibiotics. Antibiotic treatment for three days shortens the recovery period. Fluid infusion requirement and uh, severity of the symptoms. Without antibiotics also recovery is possible with uh, sufficient rehydration. WHO recommends antibiotics only in severe dehydration cases. Doxycycline is the First line drug, other drugs useful are uh, cotrimoxazole, erythromycin, tetracycline, chloramphenicol, furosemide. Zinc supplementation. In a study conducted in uh, Bangladesh, zinc supplements uh, helped in curing and uh, preventing the infection of cholera. Prevention. WHO recommends the stress of importance. Uh, of an effective surveillance system, proper disposable and treatment of infected fecal water and uh, 
all contaminated materials like clothes, beddings, etc. is essential. Clothes washed with uh, hot water and if possible with uh, chlorine bleach. Hands come across the infection must be washed with uh, chlorinated water or any disinfectant. Sewage antibacterial treatment done by chlorine ozone ultraviolet light prevents the undiagnosed source. Public awareness is uh, developed about the sanitation and uh, contamination by posters. Water purification. All water used for drinking, cooking, washing should be sterilized by boiling, chlorination, ozone, ultraviolet light, solar water disinfection or antimicrobial filtration. Vaccine. Ducorol, an orally administered inactivated whole cell vaccine was effective but these days not recommended by the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, for the, for the migrating people. Injection of vaccine effective for three years of coverage of protection was used. That's all about the cholera diagnosis and treatment and in the next video I will discuss about uh, some other disease. Thank you.